My name is Mark Jones and I'm a specialist podiatrist from Cardiff and I want to talk to you about identifying signs and symptoms of macrovascular disease in the lower limb as a consequence of diabetes. Clinical assessment and evaluation of foot perfusion is essential in managing diabetic foot disease. The treatment and identification of macrovascular disease is key to reducing the high amputation rates seen in diabetic patients. A great deal of information about the vascular status of the lower limb can be gained by simple observation. These observations may include looking at the colour of the lower limb and foot and also the condition of the skin and nails. The colour of the foot in a patient with poor vascular supply may present in a pale, blue, red or dusky pink appearance. In a person with no vascular problems, the skin would be healthy and pink in colour. In a patient with poor vascular supply, the skin condition may be thin, dry, shiny or with absent hair. Poor peripheral circulation can lead to delayed healing of skin lesions and ulcers. Poor blood supply will affect the nails. These nails may become crumbly, discoloured or thickened. Also, you may want to investigate the foot for any signs and symptoms of gangrene. Severe ischemia will progress to gangrene, with the most distal regions being affected. There are a number of clinical tests you can carry out to identify macrovascular com complications in the lower limb. These tests can involve identifying the temperature gradient of a patient in the lower limb. The back of a practitioner's hand should be used to stroke the anterior surface of the patient's lower limb, from knee to toes. The proximal part of the leg should feel warm to touch, but a sharp drop in temperature as the feet is approached will suggest inadequate blood supply. Another test is the capillary filling time. Using a thumb, sufficient pressure should be applied to the eight pieces of the patient's toe to blanch the skin. Normal colour should return within two to three seconds. A delayed capillary filling time suggests inadequate blood supply through capillaries. Absence of blanching in a synodic foot is a poor sign. It shows that tissues are devitalised and grandering is likely to, re to develop. Identifying foot pulses is another test that can be carried out. There are two main pulses in the foot that need to be allocated. The first one being the dorsalis pedis. This is palpated between the first and second metatarsal as shown here. The other uh, pulse is the posterior tibia, and this is palpated be behind the medial malleolus of the ankle, as shown here. If the pulses are palpable, there is a strong indication that there is no vascular disease present. However, difficulty in locating these pulses may require further investigation. One of these investigations that could be carried out is using a handheld Doppler, which enables the pulses to be heard more clearly. The Doppler probe should be held at a 45 degree angle. Again, for the dorsalis pedis to be located, it needs to be placed in between the first and second toe. And there we are. That's the, that's the dorsalis pedis. For the posterior tibia pulse, again, we need to be looking behind the medial malleola and again angling the probe at 45 degrees. Also, using an, a, a, an ankle brachial pressure index allows a more thorough assessment of the vascular status. Where the highest brachial pressure is divided by the highest arm pressure, Lower readings suggest poor vascular signs of the lower limb. Patients with macrovascular complications of the lower limb complain of cramping pain in the calf or butter, coming on with exercise and relieved by rest. This complaint is called intermittent claudication. More severe macrovascular complications leads to continuous pain in the foot, which is worse when the limb is raised. 
There is no substitute for a thorough clinical vascular education in the lower limb. Early detection and identification of vascular insufficiency is paramount in the management of diabetic foot disease and can reduce the risk of limb amputation. Thank you.